I'll go through very quickly how I go from Houdini to GE with fields and field dimensions. So I have my height map and I have a curve. I can adjust this curve however I please. I can, uh, oops, I can select these vertices and all that. And I'll, I can make them smooth. So I can get some really nice um, edges here. So just to smooth this as much as I like. And this is then masked on top of the terrain, which then in turn can be flattened like before. But this system here is much more flexible because now, since these are vertices, I can spawn um, an object here, which is required to run the script from uh, Modelizer. So I spawn some spheres here, which are then placed on top of the terrain and are perfectly following the shape. In Blender, I import this file and uh, make sure that every item is separated, which is required, and that the origin of each and one of them is at the center of them, the, the spheres. I then create an empty and make it make sure it's in the middle of all the spheres. And from there, I export an i3D. In GE, I import that uh, i3D and I place it under the field setup transform group. So here are my spheres. They are in the exact correct location as in Houdini. And then I select the fields transform group and that last the field templates transform group. And then I run the script. This could not have been any easier.